So what are we doing today? Uh, I guess we're milling up this uh, pine here. Yeah. We're making barn doors out of uh, Caribbean pine. Nine foot by 32 inches with some trim. End up an inch and a half thick. First, we're gonna cut them down to a workable size because running 12 foot sucks. Okay. Here we have our These, uh, panels. Panels. Vertical panels. This stack is trim pieces. Those are all the trim. trim pieces. Trim pieces, trim pieces. Just different sashes. Just different sashes. These are all the backs. That's all the stuff going on top. Right. So now we're going to S4S this. We're going to make these one inch S4S. And we're going to make these for now one, two, three, three quarter inch. All right, so. We cleaned up everything, S4S them to the sizes we need. Now what we need to do is glue the two back panels up and then after each glue up, we're gonna install the trim on the face. First, we have to get this bad boy out of the way, which there's a video on how we made this in the description below. But for now, we're gonna move this off to these oak dunnage and get to the glue up. Actually, no, what, we're, what we actually are gonna do is we're going to arrange these guys back and forth uh, by grain and biscuit joint them and then glue them. That's right. We figured we needed 120 biscuits and that don't look like 120 biscuits. So uh, you wanna go get biscuits? All right, so we're we're not gonna use biscuits. Yeah, that's that's what's gonna happen. So now we're just gonna glue them up. We decided to use a couple of steel bars and some clamps to make sure the glue up was flat before we tightened our clamps. It worked pretty well. All right, so they glued up pretty good. Now, if you look, we went up, down, up, down up down so that way it warps evenly because this shit is definitely going to warp 100 percent glue's dried and what's the plan now uh i guess we're going to be flattening it oh yeah we're not throwing it through the planer though no, it's wide. No. we're going to flatten her with the old ro yep and it's caribbean pine so it should be quick and after that, we're gonna attach the trim to the front with the old glue and finish nail method. Sand them again and they should be good to go. Tyler took forever sanding these panels down. He was blaming it on some gumming up the pads nonsense, but we got them done. <laughs> oh, dude! What? This is a thing you got to think piece. That. Oh, what? Dang it, <laughs> man! Fuck! <laughs> so, something didn't make sense, and we had to add these wedges. You know, so. So, come over here, and I say, hey! It doesn't look quite right. And so we had put a thin piece on top. And so we just put this little piece here to make up the difference. And now, it's the same dimension as a thick piece. Hmm. You know, shit happens, but you just got to figure out how to fix it. Luckily, these doors are getting primed and painted. 
Sometimes, even when you build something and you do everything right, it gets all warpy, especially here in Florida. Especially when you're using pine. Especially when you're using pine, always with pine. I told you it was gonna warp, it warped. It warped. So, we're spraying her nice with water. We already did this one time and it fixed it tremendously. We're gonna do this a second time. We put little eighth blocks on the opposite way and we're gonna clamp her down super tight. And then hopefully when it dries, it's completely straight because the guy's been waiting on these but a for a while, no. but we don't want to turn in something that's subpar because we just end up rebuilding it. And if we did rebuild these, we'd rebuild them out of cedar, even though it's not kiln dried because it's really stable and it doesn't warp. It doesn't do any of that. Alrighty. This is trade secrets right here. You spray the wood with water and straighten her out. I guess you guys will see how it turns out. What do you well, think, Tyler? It'll be fine. It'll be fucking fine. Yeah, exactly. Here we are in the Arctic North. Woo. It's like 50 degrees out. It's basically Alaska. Florida and Alaska are basically the same place this time of year. Anyways, we are going to unclamp this now and see how straight they are. How straight do you think they're going to be? They're going to be straight. They're going to be straight. We're going to move them over to this table over here and we will see. some water on it and it'll straighten up here let's you want to see this one you want to see this one oh yeah pretty sweet so this is the doors before painting they don't line up right there because one's upside down it's no big deal though but we're gonna fill all the cracks and holes with premium caulking paintable caulking c-a-u-l-k-i-n-g and um and then paint them i want you to film this real quick i gotta show them something So, this is a key tip, especially when you're working with someone, right? You have, you, when you put your caulking in, right? And you wanna like spread it real good, push it in. Now you take this, right? And you put it somewhere where your partner is gonna put their fucking hand. So when they grab it, they get fucking cock all over their hand. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We took these barn doors, we brought them out here, gave them a coat of primer, and now they're ready. <laughs> 